What is the reward of a saint? Mr. Within would like to speak about a style of living that certain benevolent human beings and we realize human beings have done in this life. And it is that of a recognition of nonviolence. You see, everything is violent because man has been survived, trying to survive in the fittest way. But when you begin to see that there's some part of your nature of being, there's some part of you, something within you that cannot see your comrade on the ground when there is work to be done, you will begin to see that you are not seeking just your own health. You are seeking the health of your world. And so, where is your next step? We are dreamers, but in our dreams we must not think that there is no awakening. There is always a greater remembrance within the heart of man. And you really need to wonder, you know, you got to be very honest. And I, I kind of think to myself, in a thousand years, where do I want to see this war heading, or this world heading? What that means is there's, we have some captains of the ship, but we're beginning to see how are we flying, really. And so it's not wrong, it's just that we are such individuals, such small beings on this planet, physically, in regards to the association of our identity. That we created our own world in our world and we wondered why we were not listening to the world. The elegance of man is that he can forgive reality. And when you can forgive reality, you are a transcendental being. What that means is nonviolence appears when Gandhi stood there and so much pressure, so many attacks from many different minds of control came to him and he stood there nonviolently guiding not that moment of man but the future of man as well. You do not understand the expression you are. Because if you did, you would see that the world is within you, that you are able, that you have always been able, and now walk well. And, of course, there's definitely a very profound reason why the Dalai Lama speaks about compassion. Because compassion is the most efficient consciousness technology of the man to in a sense loosen up the individuality so what that means is if you've been like cold as ice your whole life suddenly you're becoming to get a bit more warmer and you're dancing around and you're beginning to see that Bruce Lee has become your friend and you're both being like water you know <laughs> and so as, as your consciousness is more open into trusting the life that is present the pieces are no longer missing in a dynamic. The app, how you experience and receive your moment is no longer based on a self that was entrapped. So any person who has suffered also knows that they have been the greatest ob observer of their suffering. And what that means is the observer is an intelligence beyond the object of observance. And so is it limbs that carry us, or is it the world that is carrying our limbs? Are we truly walking, or are we within the greater steps of an evolution of our planes of existence? You think man can evolve, but his world cannot? <laughs> we are that evolution found with the blessings of a starlit sky. Born of thunder, we strike to inspire.
and formless as the wind. We carry all forms in our awareness with our able engagement. So your creative process must actually increase. So you want excitement in your life? Begin applying new actions. Make your decisions, your everyday things. What that means is if you're taking a cup and drinking from the same cup all day, get that cup, break it on the ground, and just sit, stand for a little bit, just feel it out, and then go get a new cup and see how easy it was for you to put away a past That didn't matter if it was full or empty, for your present is the beauty of all truth. Your presence is the glory of the most benign hue. Share some mantras. And also to provide a moment where a human being is dissolving all ideology within sound. Blessings to the blessed. For the pilot's calling. Lead Much blessings and Namaste.